In this video, we're going to be performing a simple GitHub Webhooks tutorial. GitHub Webhooks gives you the ability to create integrations between the GitHub platform and external application that you own. This can be external application servers or SaaS platforms like Zapier or G Suite. So to begin, the first thing we're going to need is a Webhook URL. A Webhook URL simply is an HTTPS publicly accessible URL that points to an endpoint on your server. I have a server running on my local system. It's a Node.js server. It's currently running on local host port 1337. So I need to generate a publicly accessible HTTPS URL to the endpoint I want to call on this server. The endpoint is here in my code. Scroll down a little bit. It's this line, this line 11. The endpoint is slash GitHub dash webhooks dash endpoint. So I need to generate a publicly accessible URL that targets this endpoint. To do that, I'm going to be making use of the Ugdex CLI. So I'm just going to go back to my terminal and on, on, a, on a different tab, I'm going to run the command Ugdex lesson 1337. If you don't have the Ugdex CLI installed, you need to get it installed. I already have it installed so I can run this command immediately. Ugdex lesson and supply the port on which the server is running. The server is running on port 1337 and that's what we're supplying to the Ugdex command here. I'm just going to hit enter. As you can see, Ugdeck is creating a guest account for me and I get a prompt. What should be the, my new source label? That will be GitHub. Just going to say GitHub. What part should the webhooks be forwarded to? Now I want to forward it to my endpoint. So I'm just going to go back to VS code and copy the endpoint with a forward slash. Just going to paste this here. So it's slash GitHub dash webhooks endpoint. Go to hit enter and says what's your connection label? Well, I'm just going to say my response server. You can give this any name you want. Go to hit enter and wait for the Ugdex CLI to do its thing. And as you can see, first I get a login URL because I'm using a guest account. So I need this to log in for a temporary session. And I have my webhook URL here. Good. So now we have our webhook URL. The next thing to do is to create the integration with GitHub by creating a GitHub webhook. So I'm just going to go to my browser. I have a project here. It's a sample project, GitHub webhooks practice. It just contains a readme.md file and some text in it. So this is going to be the project I'm going to create a webhook for and listen for a push event. I'm going to listen for the push event. And anytime a push event occurs, I'm going to receive a webhook on my endpoint. So to set up the webhook, simply go to settings. And on the settings page, we're going to scroll down on the side menu here and click on webhooks. Now here, I'm going to create add webhook. First, I'm going to delete this webhook that I used to practice. I'm just going to delete this. To provide my password. Yeah, confirm access, good. So back on this page, we can click add webhook. And the first thing I'm to supply is the payload URL, which is GitHub's way of saying webhook URL. So I'm just going to paste in my webhook URL here. I'm just let me go and copy it once again to make sure that that is on my clipboard. Okay, copy. Come here and paste. So I have my webhook URL here. Uh, content type application definitely uh, from URL encoded. Secret you can supply a secret. Let's say one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D. This is just for some security check on your server. And enable SS verification, fine. I just want to subscribe for the push event. You can subscribe for everything, even though this is not advisable. You can also click to select individual events from the list of events here. You can actually select more than one. I think so. Yeah, I can select more than one. So the multi-select option. Well, I'm just going to subscribe for the push event. And yeah, deliver event details when the hook is triggered. Definitely, I want this active. So to complete the process, we have a webhook URL supp supplied and that is the most important thing on this form. Once that is there, you can click on add webhook. And immediately you click on add webhook, GitHub is going to automatically send you a push, a ping, a ping event, a ping webhook rather, to just confirm that your webhook is live and for you to check things on your end to make sure that everything is running fine. Uh, here on the webhooks page, you can see that the webhook we just created named by its webhook URL. So you can click that if you need to make some changes. 
But for us to confirm that we are receiving our webhooks, I'm just going to go to the CLI where the UGDEC CLI is listening. And as you can see, we have a post request registered here. GitHub webhooks are sent as post requests. So we have a post request registered here, it's successful. So it's 200, we successfully received it. And this is the endpoint it targeted, which is the endpoint that we supplied. And this is a page where we can view the event on UGDEX dashboard. But before we do that, I'm just going to copy the login URL here to log into my guest session. So that's good. That works. I can see my event here, but to view the event page, I'm going to go back to the CLI and copy the actual event URL. So I'm just going to copy this event URL that Oak Deck generated for us and open another browser tab and just paste that in. So here I have my event. I have details of my event. These are metadata, metadata supplied by Oak Deck telling you what the connection is, the date and time it was received. It was successful at this point. Then we also have headers. We have the headers from GitHub. You can view, I think there are like nine or 10 of them. We have the request part and what most of you are going to be interested in, which is the payload. So here's the payload. It's a stringified payload. So you might need to pass that in your code to give you the JSON object that is represented in this string. But there you have it. GitHub Webhooks set up and we're receiving it successfully in our development environment. So that's the introduction to GitHub Webhooks. If you have found this video useful, we would appreciate a like. And you can also subscribe to our channel for more videos on GitHub Webhooks and Webhooks in general.